I'm going to show you another little tip in using the emulator, and that is what I call hot testing in the emulator. So I've added a button that I have named BTN NAU. And in my code, I've added a function called click NAU, and I set the string to a string reference, of, which I've added of NAU being Northern Arizona University. Now what I haven't done is I haven't wired up the button to my code, because I want to demonstrate this hot testing in which if you need to make changes to the interface, you can do that while the emulator is running and then apply those changes. If, however, you're making changes to the code, you will need to restart the emulator. So I'm going to start my emulator. And if I click NEU, nothing happens. The other two buttons work, but the NEU button does not. Now, rather than ending my emulator and come back and changing the interface, I'm simply going to hide the emulator. I'm going to come back to my NAU button and I'm going to go down to the common attributes and wire this up to the click NAU method. Now I'm going to go back to my emulator. I'm going to show it again. And right now, NAU doesn't do anything. But I'm going to click the second button here, which is apply changes and restart activity. And you'll see the emulator kind of flashed a little bit. It's reloaded that activity. So now we get SMCC, Arizona State University, and Northern Arizona University. I'm going to go to my main activity. And I'm going to just change this to SMCC. So I'm just making a slight change to my code. I'm not creating a new function or a new method. And let's, so, this, so now the NEU button should say Southmont Community College. I'm going to retest apply my changes and now it shows South Mountain Community College. So I can make changes to the code as long as I'm not adding a new method. If I were to come in here and add a new method, I'll just call it test. And I can put a code in the body, just creating that new method. And now I'm going to try running it again, applying my changes. And notice now in the log cat, I'm getting changes were not applied. Adding a new method requires an app restart. Now I could click this reinstall and restart app, sort of as a shortcut here. And that would allow the activity to be reloaded along with the changes or the addition of the new method in the Kotlin code. And of course it doesn't do anything, so I can't really test that it actually works, but if I had to do something, it really would. So that's how you can save some time in using the emulator and doing hot testing. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the Android app development cohort playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.